In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a stats counter code to your WordPress blog so that it'll count every page. You only have to add it in one spot, and every page view will be counted by the stats counter. You'll get all these stats on keywords and everything else. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is sign up for a free stats counter account. The one I like to use is just called stats counter at statscounter.com, but you can use any stats counter that you like. So just sign into this or sign up if you don't already have one. Okay, and then once you're logged in, you'll see all the projects that you have, and you can go and check all the stats there. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to up here, we're going to click on add a new project. And I'm going to put it on a blog called Beautiful Lawn and Garden. Then you put the URL in here, choose a category. With hobbies and interests. Choose your time zone here. The log size, you're only going to be able to use 500, but that's fine. It gives you enough. IP blocking, if you don't want it to count your hits, just grab your IP address from over here. And paste it in here. That way it won't count any time that you're on the page. Whether you want public stats or not, you can check that. I'm not going to allow public stats. Okay, just configure and install code now. Now, I'm going to do an invisible counter. It's up to you how you want this to look. And then we'll click Next. And we'll do the default installation guide. Click Next again. Here's your code. So just click in there and then copy this code. And then what you should do is open a notepad session and paste it in there so that you don't lose it. There's also been emailed to the email account used to set up your stats counter code. Okay, so we'll paste, so we'll paste that in there for now. Now what we do is we have to go to our blog. And then what we need to do is we need to change one of the files. Now what we need to do is actually edit the theme that we're using. So let's just go to the admin area of this blog. And we'll log in. Okay, so we're logged in now. And what we will do is we will go to Appearance. Now depending on which version of WordPress you're using. This may all look different, but what you're looking for is your themes. Now we go to Editor. And then what you do is you go over to the right side here and you find the footer. Click on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the change in the footer, but you'll see down here you need to make this file writable before you can save your changes. Okay, so to change these permissions, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our control panel. This is the control panel for this site. We just go to File Manager, and then we go to where our blog's installed. This is in public underscore HTML. On this server is where all files that can be seen on the internet have to be. Your hosting provider will tell you where you need to upload your files. In many cases, that's where it is. Sometimes it is in a different directory. So you'll need to know that. We'll go to WP-Content, and then we'll go to Themes. And then we know that we're using this theme. If we look back here, we know that we're using the gardening theme too. Okay, so it's gardening too. Go inside there, find footer, click on it, and then change permissions. So what we want to do is make this 666. So all these six boxes have to be checked and click enter. Now we have change of permissions of this. Let's refresh here. And you'll see that we now have update down here. 
So all we have to do is right at the bottom, just before this slash body tag, all we have to do is paste our code in there. Just like that. Update the file. And we've now added a stats counter code to our site. If we visit the site, and let's just view the source, view page source. And if we roll to the bottom here, you'll see here's our stats counter JavaScript code. Now it doesn't matter which page we go to, pick a page at random here, we'll click on that. And now we'll view the page source again, just view page source. I'll roll down to the bottom. There's our stats counter code. So it doesn't matter what page people go to, we'll always be counting their stats. We'll be able to see where they came from if they entered from a search engine on a certain page, which is very useful information. Okay, now you know how to add stats counter code to your WordPress blog.